Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 106. That is, what is the difference between regression testing and retesting? Let me answer. So what is the difference between regression testing and retesting? Coming to regression testing, the testing which is performed to make sure that there are no side effects introduced in other working areas of the application due to code changes. So what does this statement mean? Let me explain. For example, guys, there is an application. Okay, let's say this is the application. In this application, there are different functionalities like this. In this application, I'm dividing this uh, entire application into multiple blocks like this. So here, each and every block in this particular entire box is nothing but a functionality. For example, this is a login functionality. Okay, this is a logout functionality. This is a, you know, register account. This is search functionality like that. Different application functionalities are there. So in this case, you see all these functionalities are working, let's say, okay, all these application functionalities are working fine. All these application functionalities are working fine. So whatever the tick marks I'm doing, right, all these application functionalities are working, okay, whether it can be login, whether it can be logout, okay, whether it can be search, all these application functionalities are working, but there is one functionality here, as you can see, I didn't tick mark. Let's assume that this functionality, let's say it's a forgot password functionality. This functionality is not working. Okay, there is a problem. So we have reported the defect here. And what do the developers have to do when you report a defect in this functionality? Developers have to fix the defect. Developers have to fix this defect. So after fixing this uh, defect, in order to fix this defect, okay, in order to fix this particular defect related to the forgot password functionality, the developers have to developers have to in order to fix this defect uh, related to forgot password functionality where there is a problem developers have to change the code or not developers have to change the code okay to fix the defect developers have to touch the code of this application so that the defect related to the forgot password functionality will be fixed so far so good let's assume that developers have fixed this particular defect developers have fixed this particular defect and the developers have given you given you a new version of the application for you for testing so here guys here because of the code changes happened at this forgot password functionality level because of the code changes that happened at this forgot password functionality level there is a possibility that the earlier working functionality you see there is no problem with the login functionality earlier logout functionality there is no problem earlier only forgot password we reported the defect and developers have fixed that for that they have touched the code of the application because of the code chain that has been done at the forgot password functionality there is a possibility of side effects getting introduced in other areas of the application. Earlier login functionality is working fine, but in the new version of the application, login may or may not work. We don't know. We are not sure because, because to fix this particular defect related to forgot, forgot password functionality, developers have to change the code. Okay, change the code of this application. Due to the code changes, there is a possibility that the side effects may get introduced in the earlier working functionalities of the application. For example, guys, if I take a real world example, you go to a doctor. Okay, uh, your actual problem is your actual problem is headache. Okay, you went for a headache. So you mentioned to the doctor that uh, doctor doctor I got a headache. Then doctor has prescribed a medicine for headache. And he asked you uh, asked you to use this particular tablet for one week or so and come to me again. So you went home and you started the course uh, medical medicine course uh, for headache for treating your headache and you started using it. So after seven days what happened was whatever the problem was there that is headache problem that's gone but suddenly you got a new problem okay you got stomach ache because of using the tablets you got a stomach ache the actual problem is solved that is headache is solved but as a side effect what you got stomach ache earlier stomach was good for you okay before you went to the doctor before you, before you went to the doctor uh, for this treating this headache right your the problem is only with the head but now earlier at the time the stomach was good okay here also same thing right the problem is forgot password but Earlier login functionality is working fine, logout is working fine, such functionality is working fine, all the other functionalities of the application are working fine. Only this forgot password, there is a problem. But because of the developers have fixed this code related to forgot password by changing the code, okay? Then what happened? There is a possibility that you may get side effects in the existing world, existing or earlier working functionalities of the application. That's the reason what we have to do as software testers, even though the code change happen to fix this particular defect, we should not believe this code change because this code change may be 
may result in the side effects in other areas of the application to overcome that problem we have to perform what regression testing testing all the other areas of the application to see if there are any side effects introduced because of any code changes in the application is known as regression testing just let me read it again testing performed to make sure that there are no side effects introduced in the other working areas of the application all the areas of the application that are working fine in that working areas of the application because of the code changes there may be some side effects introduced to find out whether there are any side effects introduced in the other working areas of the application due to the code changes done by the developers is known as regression testing okay it is known as regression testing guys the code changes uh, may happen due to different reasons okay in this example the code change here happened because of the fixing the de uh, defect developer has fixed the defects in all cases uh, defect fixing may not be the case for changing the code okay so in some cases like a new functionality has been introduced and you have written the code because of the new functionality added to this existing application you see a new functionality got added to the existing application because of the uh, new functionality added and developers have to write the code for this and they have to modify the code okay to integrate this functionality with these other areas they have to modify the code in that case also you will get there may be side effects right in the existing uh, in the existing working areas of the application earlier working areas of the application the side effects may be introduced because the code has been changed or touched or any improvements have been made to the application or any updations have been made to the existing working areas of the application or whatever it is guys due to any reasons if the developers have will touch the code there is a possibility that other areas which are working fine also may get side effects okay to cross check whether there are no side effects introduced in the other working areas of the application due to the code changes uh, because of the defect fixing or new functionalities or updating functionalities etc etc is known as regression testing okay this is what is regression testing guys what is retesting then retesting is different guys okay retesting is simply testing the defects that are stated as fixed by developers is called as retesting so here in this example the forgot password functionality got a defect and developer is saying that they have fixed the defect so as part of retesting what you have to perform you have to check whether this defect is really fixed in this latest version of the software or not okay here your job is not to uh, cross check whether there are no side effects in the earlier working functionalities here retesting means testing whether the defects that are stated as fixed by developers are really fixed or not okay you are cross checking the developer is saying that i have solved the problem now we have to check whether the problem is really solved by the developer or not that's that process is called as retesting let's say guys uh, uh, you called a plumber to your home because there is a problem with your tap or something the water is not coming okay there is a problem in the water is not coming from the tap that is a problem okay so the plumber came and has fixed the problem okay now the plumber says that uh, saran madam uh, i have fixed this problem okay saran madam i have fixed this problem then what you will do guys immediately you, you will cross check right whether the you, you will again um, uh, open the tap and see whether the water is coming or not if the water is coming means you will confirm that the problem that you have reported to the developer in case uh, this in our world, real world example that is plumber is really fixed or not okay this checking is called as retesting guys okay because of fixing that uh, problem the tap problem okay because of fixing that tap problem so maybe while fixing the problem right plumber may break your uh, glass which is near to your uh, okay you have to your that uh, wash basin or whatever you call right okay when when he is fixing the tap there is a possibility that plumber may break the glass okay which is uh, near to the tap so that that we have to check as part of re regression testing right regression testing is performed to check whether there are no side effects introduced in the other working areas of the application due to the code changes done by the developer because of bug fixes and etc and etc but retesting is only straightforwardly testing whether the problem is solved or not is called as retesting okay testing whether the defects have been really fixed by developers is called as retesting so hope guys you got an idea of what is the difference between the regression testing and retesting in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye